In this video, you will learn how to create a new library. Now, the Kutubi Author open in front of you, and while you're signed in with your license, go to the Manage tab, and from under Manage, click on Hosted Libraries. Now, this shows you all the controls that you need for controlling libraries. From here, you can select the library that you want to control. Currently, we have no libraries. We only have the Kutubi Shared Library listed. An empty star means that we can upload to the book as an author, but we don't have any uh, administrative permissions to control its settings. Now I'd like to create a new library, so we'll click on New Library. We'll give the library a name, like My First Library. And then the alias. The alias is going to be part of the URL, the free URL that you, uh, you receive from Kutubi. So we're going to call that First Library. You're not allowed to put any spaces, just uh, pure characters. And click on Create. Now, as expected, it's going to refuse this operation because you don't have permissions. Now remember, this is a free license and uh, allows you only to do a few things like exporting web and desktop apps and uploading to the shared library. But to create a library, this is something that's outside the scope of the free license. Nevertheless, click on OK and we'll go to the website under kotubi.com. We'll click on downloads and pricing in the menu. Now scroll down a bit until you reach the part with Kotubi Cloud. And under Kotubi Cloud, here at the right, you see hosted library. Now you're welcome to buy the license if you want, but in our case, we're going to click on free trial. And it'll take us here. Now, since we already have a serial number, we'll just uh, paste the serial number here and click on sign in. Okay, so now it tells us that we've registered for the free trial and an email has been sent with basic instructions. Now, I'll go back into Kutubi Author and I'll do exactly what I tried to do a few minutes ago. I click on create. And now you see something has happened. We see the message, the library has been successfully created. So congratulations, that's the first library that you create. You can see on the left hand side under hosted libraries, there are some new sub-items uh, sub that showed. First it was just books, now we have categories, users, customize, settings, export, admins. There are many, many, many options for libraries and a lot of flexibility for you to control how it will look for your users. Now in this video we'll just take a very simple operation and that is adding a book to the library. So from the same uh, page without going anywhere, we'll go next to new library, there's a button that says add EPUB files to library. Now you can you can choose EPUB files in bulk to upload to the library. In our case we'll just select a single file which is Alice in Wonderland. Click on open. So this will start uploading the book to the library. We'll just give it a few seconds. So the strip, the blue strip at the top, it shows you the progress, the upload progress. And now it's done, it's finalizing. Okay, so it, it's a finished upload and gives you a success message. But it tells you to be viewable online, the ebook need to be published from the Manage tab. Okay, and we're currently under the Manage tab, so that's good. We'll click on OK. Now it shows you the, the book, the title, the book cover, the title shows you category currently you have no category since it's a new library number of views downloads the date now here you have some buttons publish currently the book is unpublished so you won't be able to see it in the library you can select the users who can access the book download to edit you can edit the book on the fly you can delete now click on publish now i'd like to see this ebook so down here at export we'll select export and you see here it says library may be accessed at this URL. I'll click on it. It'll open our browser and it will start loading the library. And now you can see your first library 
and your first book in the library click on it show you some well it didn't have any description in case it, it does have a description it will show here shows you the author the publisher the rights and so on since it's a public library by default it's a public library uh, you have an open book button so click on it you don't need to log in or anything and now it opens the book so hope you found this simple we're going to look at further uh, library uh, configurations and how we can customize this further thank you